Um, what do we have here? Sentry and chapel for trashing. So I think we're gonna open with trap, chapel, and money lender. Money lender sucks compared to those two, though. Ooh, this is a strong board. Oh my gosh. Um, there's no real card draw here. Is the main thing. I'm debating whether I want a silver or a vassal. Uh, I think there's absolutely no harm in starting with the vassal. And we're of course grabbing chapel here. What did they buy? Vassal throne room? Vassal into chapel would be epic right now. It was a one in seven chance, very unlikely. Um, I have four to spend. I think I need a silver. Okay, this is a great chapel hand anyways. Ooh, they, they got to five already, and they picked up a, a festival. They don't have any trashing cards yet. They should have grabbed a sentry there. Or a chapel earlier. I feel like they're going to be very behind. <clears throat> I trashed already three coppers in an estate. I'm just gonna trash again this turn. I got chapel again. Yeah, I'll play chapel. Oh, I guess there was nothing else in my deck. I can't get rid of both of my coppers. Um, I'm gonna trash one copper in the estate. And I'm gonna buy a festival so I can actually have money. Um, I guess I trash this copper. No, I can use that money for now and it's not clogging up my deck. I think we'll go with throne room and another vassal. These are both action cards. What's in here? I have two festivals in there, I think. Or one festival and a throne room. So playing a vassal here is win-win. Actually, it would have been better to draw the throne room first, but this is fine. Trash my copper now. I'll have nine here. I think I'll pick up a sentry. There's no reason to trash yet. I'm gonna grab a throne room. It's either Throne Room or Vassal.
Let's see, we can throne room the festival, which plays it twice, then I can vassal the vassal. Can you just go directly for provinces now, or would your deck get too diluted? It would get too diluted. So we want to build up to a point where we can withstand the provinces before we start buying them. Unless we're forced to buy it because uh, we won't be able to keep up with the other player. I think the other player has a pretty poor deck right now, though, because they haven't trashed anything. So half their deck is cards that they don't even want to see clogging up their hand. Go ahead and buy two festivals there. Bandit, I didn't even notice Bandit was on this board. I saw all this other good stuff I like and I was... <laughs> did not even notice that. It's okay, because I don't even need treasure in my deck. I, I was actually... I have a silver in my deck that I was going to trash at some point. Um, and the bandit might do it for us. The bandit also lets me know what's in my discard pile, which becomes very good for sentry and vassals. This could be interesting. Wonder if they're going for gardens. Um, they could be. Uh, yeah, that would be one reason not to trash. And you can buy gardens pretty quickly here. They, they've loaded up in festivals. That's a good um, observation there. They could definitely be going for gardens. Cool, I will trash my chapel. Don't need it anymore. I'm gonna put the festival on the bottom. I have at least one more vassal in here. I don't remember how many vassals are in my deck. Go ahead and throne room a festival, and then throne room the vassal. Play vassal. There's a silver. Or no, there's a festival. Where was the silver? Oh, we're pretty much a double province already. What do we actually want to buy here? I feel like I want some more sentries and vassals and festivals, a lot of those. How about one of each? The high wire act of scoring and having a deck that does things is very interesting in Dominion. Yeah, I think that's one of like the most interesting parts of it is that in order to win, you have to make your deck worse. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have a draw card. I, I kind of just um, screwed myself. I should have double played a uh, sentry there. It's okay because we're still going to have like a really good hand here. Like I could buy a province this turn if I wanted, um, but it's not as good as it could have been. Um, but we're not going to trash either of these. Do I want to draw both of these next turn? Probably, so I just won't discard them. Order doesn't even matter. I'll just throw in room both of my festivals. I'll grab a century and a festival. Hey Marlin. Um, yeah, we definitely have an engine deck going. Pretty um, smoothly running one. Okay, they're, they're going to the gardens. Those are worth two for them right now. I think these gardens are going to be too slow for them. 
Um, let's see. So I have a throne room and a vassal in my discard pile. Which is good to know. I think I'm gonna trash the silver. Yeah, because the main thing this deck doesn't have is card draw. Um, let's see. Do I want to keep these on the top of my deck? I could Vassal Throne Room to Throne Room Vassal to Vassal Festival <laughs> and then whatever else is down there. I like that. Throne room to throne room vassal to vassal throne room festival. So I only have action cards in my deck, so vassal can't miss is really nice. I have a ton of actions and buys. I don't really, really even need festivals at this point. Something like that. I think we can probably start buying provinces next turn. Or maybe we buy out the gardens in two more piles, if that looks like a closer path to victory. See, that guy just had an awful turn because he never trashed anything. Vassal, the vassal, the sentry. Sentries and vassals work really well because you can set up what you're gonna your vassal's gonna hit. I'll put this vassal here. And I will I think I'll actually throne room the vassal here, which will play that vassal, which will play that festival. And then this is the second vassal from that throne room, which is giving me a throne room, which I can play on the festival. 20 and six buys. Do we care about provinces or do we go for something here? Like I could buy five gardens. You know what, I think we buy Festival. I don't think they're gonna be able to buy five gardens next turn. But let me grab that. If you get the gardens, it shuts them down. Uh, Kind of, because he's going to have a bad deck. And the only reason he has a bad deck is because it makes the gardens worth a lot. Um, 
So the gardens are only worth two for me right now. So if I bought the last four gardens, I'd have 10 points and that would win. And it might even bump up to two points, three points. Probably not, it'll probably stay at two. I don't, there's no way my deck has 30 cards right now, right? Do I want to discard the festival? I think I do. I'm concerned about not having enough card draw here. I'll go ahead and throw him a vassal here. Play the sentry. Oh, this is good. The second throne room of that vassal is going to play this vassal, which is going to play a throne room, which I'm going to play on this vassal, which is going to play a sentry, which will play a throne room. I think I'll discard this festival. That throne room will play my vassal. She'll play that vassal. She'll play that festival. <laughs> and then this throne room prox. Wait a second. Why am I playing again? We were like in the middle of like this huge nested throne room. Am I still playing off of this throne room? I think I am. Yeah. This throne room played this vassal twice, Sentry, then it hit the vassal, which hit the throne room, which hit another vassal, which hit another throne room, which hit a vassal. <laughs> oh, this is insane. Well, yes, I'll play the vassal. That was a fun deck. <laughs> oh, man. Vassals and throne room just popping off. I might have to upload that one to YouTube. That, that was a fun one. I don't really have anything else to say about that, but um, that was good stuff.